paper and online tutorials so in this video we'll discuss how we can integrate Bing search engine with the SharePoint online search so when you try to search for anything in the SharePoint and the results will get from only from the SharePoint now in this video we'll discuss how we can get the external results also into your SharePoint results web part so for that first I'll go to team site and this is a team site which I created so to create that first I am going to site settings click on view all site settings so we already discussed about search administration search related information in the settings so first we'll go to the result sources click on this result sources so we have existing result sources are available so those are something like local people results local shape and results local video results and pages pictures popular so and so so and so so we already discussed how we can create a new result sources also so click here new result sources so it will open a window i'm just giving so we are trying to search for bing search engine data so i'm typing bing and description is optional or you can type get search results from Bing now we have the protocols local SharePoint remote SharePoint so local SharePoint will give the results from this particular SharePoint environment this remote SharePoint will give you the results from the external site collections and this is for exchange and the, this one is for open search for open search they give and select open search 1.0 or 1.1 for results from a search engine that uses that protocol so now we understand that the bing uses this open search select this one when you select this one it will refresh the page and it will give you the options to enter the query transform this is a normal query transform within a search term and change incoming queries to use this new query text instead include the incoming query in the new text by using the query variable search term so now here we have an option for enter the url for that so first we'll go to the bing.com bing.com so whenever whenever you try to search for something and the query it will pass us on the url so we'll copy until here this is a sharepoint and it is coming from so and so so and so it is giving some results here but i want to copy until here this is https www.bing.com slash search question mark and query q equal to it showing sharepoint now we'll go back to here and pass it here so when you sorry so this is not copied I'll copy once again up to here I'm copying this copy so once you copy it and then come back here and then paste it on this place so once you paste it and also we need to add the format so before adding that format we need to copy this search term the search term something like just before you see that SharePoint so maybe people search for something else and that will pass us here and after this after you pass this search terms and we need to pass another format also here so I'm entering format is RSS and and the market is EN us so this is right and it will run with anonymous right bing search engine runs with anonymous when you try to search and you are not going to log in into that but still it will work so that's why the source does not require any authentication to search so that is here so we we added the name of that and we give in description and then this is open search protocol this is automatically gives with the search terms and we entered the URL here with a format and the market name click save now this is stored here go go back to site settings 
now we have query rules go to query rules so we know that the local shape and search results give the search results to the shape and site so select that shape and search results and then try to add a new query click on this new query so give a name as test rule for or otherwise I'll give external search so in the query conditions I don't want to give any specific keywords to match I I want to remove this one there is no conditions and we have promoted results we discussed in the last video and there is a results block click add results block so it is giving error just again try once again add results block sorry something went wrong we'll go to the technical it is passing some correlation id again go back to site and then try once again this may be issue with the loading if it is not loading properly we'll refresh the site once again yeah now we don't have any issue so this is the title and results for search results for subject term and the query rule with the subject term and the query original source is i'm giving bing now the items it i want to pass something like six or six six would be fine so we have settings here do not show me a do not show me a more link or more link something like this we have and there is a default group and use the results type item display template use results type and we have best bets and so on so so and so i'll discuss about this best bets and pictures related the routing option also i'm not a i'm not giving any routing option here only i'm selecting the source as bing and i'm giving the items as a six i will come back here click ok now we are done with this just save this one now if you want to edit you can click this one or if you want to remove this one you can click remove click save now it is saved with the external search name here so we are done with the uh, query rule and we are also done with the result sources i will go to the home page i'm going to home page in the home page i'll refresh completely once again i'll refresh this site Our site is refreshed now search with SharePoint okay now when we search with SharePoint and we can able to see this test results from this site and if you click news and if you click sites and so and so now the results are not changing once again we'll try to search with office no so there is no results here so what we'll do is first we'll go to site contents in the site contents there is site pages Okay, now here I'm trying to add a web part page. We'll give a name as search and use full vertical. Now I'll save this one inside site pages. Click create. Now we'll add two web parts here click add a web part now inside search we have search results web part click add
now we'll try to add another web part that is search web search box web part click add now we have two web parts click stop editing now we'll try to search for office now it is loading now you can able to see some results here um one two three four five six results now when we create that results black and we have created with a limit of six now this is an external site www.office.com and then microsoft.com and office office pp.com and support microsoft and then total six results we got from the external search engine this is from the search engine of bing for example if i type office we can get the results here and these are the ads and later you can see office.com microsoft.com and microsoft en and so on so so and so and the same way in in this search also you you are able to get the results from the external this is not inside this one and you are getting the results from the external and the two results these two results from the particular site so that's why you can able to see two results here and this is that and if you try to search for a, any other thing like shape and i'm trying to search and see and you got the results for shape and also and this particular results black will give you the six results only every time because we selected six results there now you are getting the six results from the external source this is from the bing search engine so this way you can able to add the external external search engine into your sharepoint environment and you can limit that also so the limitation we have set here so that also we can able to modify if you if you don't want to give six or if you want to increase or if you want to decrease you can able to do that from the settings again you can go back to all settings and you can able to see the query rule here in the query rule again we have to select the shape and local shape and results and this is external set search click edit now there is an option for edit now this is six and you can decrease to four click ok or if you want to increase you can able to increase that click save refresh this page click recent so now we are expecting the results black will show only four results now see one two three and four results only the remaining results from the local shape and sites these are all results from the local shape and sites and in the in the results block you can able to see the four results only this way you can manage your external search engines into shape and and also you can manage your results blocks also that's it thanks for watching my video